Okay, today we're doing a workout number 29 and we're gonna use as our roots F and C. So if you look at the Chora starting with F and then the other octave. I'm not going further because we don't have a full octave here and I'm not starting here because we don't have the notes G, A, B. So we're gonna work on so F and C. So we start with F, C, B, F, C, A, F, C, G, and then we go in that direction, so we're gonna play F, C, D, then F, C, E, F, C, F. We are moving forward to the next octave, F, C, B, so we're gonna go here, F, C, A, F, C, G, and then we're moving forward, F, C, D, F, C, E, F, C, F. And we're now going backwards, F, C, F, F, C, E, F, C, D, F, C, B, F, C, A, F, C, G, F, C, F. We're going to the next octave, F, C, F, F, C, E, F, C, D, F, C, B, F, C, A, F, C, G, F, C, F. So, um, I find this combination of F and C very pleasant and that's kind of a uh, way to discover your Chora. Um, these workouts just have a purpose of discovering the Chora using uh, different notes and kind of trying to see it from every angle and really feel it and here we can, I'm going to play it the whole thing again so you can have a feel of this FC combination. So let's start here. And that's how we finish. Of course, you can go faster if you want. You can also play, maybe improvise. Just do whatever. Here I'm just doing uh, whatever going through my mind doesn't have to be structured or beautiful just explore how it sounds see just using this and then you can go and just insist on this F and C just to see how it vibes on the Chora and how you can mix all that together so I hope you have fun and uh, we'll meet for the next workout and have fun with the Cora.